Two former daycare workers accused of molesting children at two different child care facilities. Tonight, News 6 reveals who has been paying their attorneys and legal bills. Both of those daycare employees used to work for Bright Horizons, one of the country's largest child care providers. Tonight, we've learned that Bright Horizons paid thousands of dollars trying to keep those accused men out of prison. News 6 investigator Mike DeForest has been digging through court documents to bring this story to light. And Mike, you've obtained a copy of the payment agreement. Uh, for one of those employees, yes. It says right here that Bright Horizons has agreed to pay the attorneys for that former daycare worker's legal defense. One of those lawyers tells News 6 most large companies have insurance policies to provide employees with criminal defense attorneys, but prosecutors have raised concerns about this financial arrangement. Orlando police arrested daycare employee J. Rico Hamilton last year for allegedly molesting a young boy at Bright Horizons in Baldwin Park. Do you want a public defender? Do you plan to represent yourself or hire your own attorney, Mr. Hamilton? Hamilton soon learned he'd have two attorneys and Bright Horizons would be paying them. If nothing else, I don't want no damn public defender, not for no case like this. In a recorded phone call from jail, Hamilton giggles while telling a friend that Bright Horizons would be funding his child molestation defense. Well, that's good news. Yeah, I was, I was excited when she came yesterday. I was like, oh my goodness. <laughs> At the time, the alleged victim's family was suing Bright Horizons. They finally figured that uh, if this case goes well for you, it helps their case in the end. Yeah. Hamilton would be represented by West Palm Beach attorney Nellie King, along with Thomas Pavlinik, a lawyer based in Maryland whose website says he specializes in sex crimes defense. As News 6 discovered, this was not the first time Pavlinik and King had been paid by Bright Horizons to defend an employee accused of child molestation. We addressed these charges yesterday. In 2013, Olakunli Amomowo was arrested for sex crimes that allegedly occurred at a Bright Horizons facility in Broward County. News 6 has obtained a copy of the payment agreement between Bright Horizons and the lawyers. In the event that the case cannot be resolved and the case goes to trial, the two attorneys would be paid a fee of $6,000 per day. Bright Horizons shall have the right to terminate this payment agreement in the event that Mr. Amomowo makes a confession. In response, prosecutors filed this notice of potential conflict, arguing that the potential financial benefit to the attorneys to proceed to trial could be seen as a disincentive to plea. Also, if the defendant had accepted the state's plea offer, Bright Horizons no longer would have paid for his defense. I'll do it now. The assistant state attorney prosecuting Hamilton filed similar court papers, hoping to prevent him from later claiming his lawyers were ineffective. Yet, despite those concerns, Hamilton eventually agreed to enter guilty pleas to less serious charges, sparing him from prison. In Broward County, prosecutors dropped all charges against Omomowo, but they could be refiled in the future. Their attorney, Nellie King, tells News 6, everyone accused of a crime is entitled to competent legal representation. Most large employers carry insurance for unforeseen events, including those that may require legal representation for employees. After J. Rico Hamilton was arrested last year, Bright Horizons said the well-being of the children in their care was their primary concern. Recently, I submitted two dozen questions to Bright Horizons about the attorney payment agreements. A spokesperson said the company could not respond to any of them because a judge in the civil case had cautioned the parties against engaging with the media. Ginger and Lisa. Mike DeForest, thank you.